Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. This is Richard. Today is Thursday the 3rd and it is 50 degrees and uh, I'm going back down the the paved trail to recover that bucket that I found yesterday. I completely forgot about grabbing it and uh, last night I woke up in the middle of the night and thought that it was a dream at first and then I wait a minute I forgot to grab that bucket it's real so today I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go get so it I have my scarf which also has my ranger beads and compass in it uh, inside my coat I am carrying a notebook and that's pretty much it it's all I really need I'm just walking down and uh, gonna get that bucket and probably roam around a little bit and then uh, head back to the house I wanted to get some snaring equipment this month and I looked on the internet uh, for some snares uh, normally I would build them myself but when I looked on the internet, the cost of purchasing them really isn't much different than if I were to gather all the equipment and make it myself. Plus, it's all put together. It's all designed and fixed so that I don't have to uh, rig things up my way. <laughs> uh, I can actually just go ahead and purchase some pre-made ones. So I think next month... Uh, I really want to try to do that uh, yeah I want to start practicing with some snares I mean I practiced before but I want to do a little more practicing this season with some snares and stuff uh, I've also been considering uh, practicing setting out some uh, leg holds just to kind of get uh, some practice in there's a squirrel running again uh, not that I would leave them out or anything just just go out find a spot set them up maybe do a video or two and then of course before I leave I'd take them down and pull them up and all that kind of stuff but uh, I went out yesterday looking for a couple 110s conibers and uh, the store that sells them in our town don't they don't have any and I noticed that a lot of the trapping gear is disappearing and the gun section in this in the store it was almost non-existent so I talked to the gentleman that was uh, running that side of the uh, the business and yeah, he and I kind of have the same ideas about uh, about that. So, anyway, uh, expect to see less and less of anything. Well, of everything, to be totally honest. But expect to see less and less of things that would help you live and survive without assistance from the government. Because that's going away. Because they don't want people to be self-sustaining they want people, uh, they don't want people, they want sheeple, and they're getting it. So anyway, if you really truly plan on being able to live without uh, the control of the government, you better make sure that you have your stuff prepped already. That's all I got to say. That's just my personal opinion. So we're... Uh, heading down and uh, once I get to uh, it's a little bit in between half of a mile and uh, uh, six tenths of a mile it's uh, a little bit in between that so yeah I'm headed uh, north on this path it's the nickel plate trail and uh, I'm almost at 550 uh, if I head south on the same trail at 450 is is uh, uh, the one mile marker for the the southern side of the trail and uh, we drove the roads 
back that way. We had to go into town today to help out Michael and Jalinda. So I went the back roads instead of going down the highway so that I could uh, see what road that was that was the, uh, the dead end one mile mile marker. And it ends up being uh, 450 north. The road is 450 north, but it's south of where I'm at. So, so we're almost to Deer Creek Bridge, South Deer Creek Bridge. I think it says South Deer Creek Bridge. I don't know. I am headed north though. <laughs> Here's my fishing, one of my fishing spots. And yeah, see it says South, South Deer Creek. So, here's the bridge. My stick is still sitting there, which I'm kind of amazed of, actually. There's my half mile marker that I set up. Right there, but that big old tree right there is my marker so that I don't forget. This is the half mile mark. So, we have, uh, so that right, that spot right there, this spot right here, is zero miles, 0 0.05. That's where this one is. Now, before we get to zero miles, 0 0.06, which is the uh, county line, we will be treading into the, uh, into the woods here. All right, oh, squirrel, a little piney. Seeing squirrels running around all over the place around here. Now I'm not uh, keeping my pace count because I don't necessarily have to. Now from here you can actually see it. Let's see here. Straight through here. There, there's that building, that tree stand that we found yesterday and we're headed generally to that direction now up here and I can pretty much go into the woods at any point now don't really necessarily need to uh, decide when I think this is where I went in yesterday right around here maybe maybe not I don't really recall but the mile mark mile marker the uh, six tenths of a mile marker is that blue county line marker right up here and as a matter of fact I'm gonna go a little bit past that nope this is where I went in yesterday right here so this is where I went in yesterday roaming around so actually I'm gonna go in here again so right there is the county line and that's also six tenths of a mile from where I started but I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and this is 1600 mils headed east We're just going to head in here. So then we turn at 1600. And again, I'm not going to keep track of my pace count because I don't need to. But roam around here so I can find a decent path to get back towards that uh, deer, deer stand, which is actually a big ass building. And once I get back that way, I can find that bucket again. I'm just going to come up in here. Right there. 
Oh, uh-oh. Camera's stuck. There we go. So here's the bucket. Oh. Grab the bucket and just move on. All right, let's back to the main trail. And uh, I stated earlier that uh, driving home from town, I took the back roads so that I could find the road that would be my one mile marker heading towards the trailhead of this paved road or this paved path. And uh, it's a mile and a half. The trailhead is a mile and a half away from where I'm staying. But uh, at somewhat the mile marker, it's a little past the mile marker, but close enough for me. There is a road that uh, has become a dead end road and it's 450 north and uh, I wanted to know what that road was so that I could mark it in my directions and get this bucket there we go so that I could uh, mark it on my directions as being the half mile or I'm sorry the mile marker so while I was there I found uh, there's a there's a field there and, and of course this is Indiana so it's either corn or soybeans that's about that's about it and uh, it was corn this year and uh, one of the trucks had left a big old pile of corn laying on the road that didn't make it into the trucks when they were loading it up so I gathered up a baggie full of it got it sitting at the house sitting out to dry and I will be using that to uh, attract squirrels and rabbits and whatever else that I can attract with it. Raccoons, things to that nature. So that I can film it and so I can practice uh, the concepts of trapping. I got my bucket. So this bucket uh, is going to be many things, possibly. One of the things that I'm considering is making a cement uh, stove slash heater, uh, wood burning heater with it, and this bucket would work perfect for that. Uh, either that or I could use it as a, some sort of storage device, I'm not really sure. But uh, when I found it yesterday roaming through the woods, I really wanted it, but I didn't want to drag it around with me while, while I was exploring and walking. So I left it where it was at and told myself, well, I'll just pick it up on the way back, which, uh, you know, I should have known I wouldn't have remembered, but uh, I forgot to remember. <laughs> so anyway, I forgot it. And, uh, I remembered it yesterday, late, late night, I, you know, as a matter of fact, a part of me thought it was a dream that I had found it, and then when I realized, no wait, I really did find it, and I just forgot about it, I wanted to pick it up, so today, as soon as I got time, I went back down there, so now I have the bucket, and maybe got another video, I don't know. <laughs>